Welcome back to Frost Education, this is Ed. Today, we're going to be talking about seat change. Going with the ticker SEAC. In this video, we're going to dive towards due diligence, technical analysis, and all the buzz that's been really grouping this one in the last 48 hours. Now, it's seen massive jumps, and we're going to discuss where this is going to go, and as well, whether this stock has potential for growth, or is it just going to drop right back where it came from. Now, in terms of their recent financial results, just in case you missed it today. So their continued operating momentum with revenues up 9% sequentially and 44% year over year. They also signed a multi-million dollar contract renewal with major US multiple systems operator. The realignment in progress with continued execution on core competencies in video and advertising and shifting to more resources to streaming products. So the company is a leading provider of video delivery, advertising, and emerging streaming platform. And they are today also having or holding a kind of a webinar or a conference call relating towards just this recent highlights. And it's going to happen on 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. So after this video, you can go ahead and jump. It should be live at that time. Now, it depends on what time you're watching this video, of course. Now, fiscal third quarter 2022 recent highlights so secured a multi-million dollar contract renewal with one of the largest multiple system operators in the united states demonstrating the ability to successfully monetize their long-term relationship they also appointed the veteran tmt executive peter d aquino as the president and ceo solidifying senior leadership team and initiating strategic initiatives they also generated 9% sequential revenue growth and 44% year over year, driven primarily by signed renewals and upsells from existing customers. Decreased operating expenses by 14% sequentially, substantially due to ongoing efficiency measurements and approaching break-even and company profitability objectives. They also ended the quarter with solid balance sheet, including $17.6 million, in cash and cash equivalents with no debt. Now, the management mentioned our financial results in the third quarter demonstrate our continued commitment to our multi pronged uh, strategy, revenue growth, increased profitability, and strategic objectives, said their CEO. My first 90 days, including a deep dive into the operation, management objectives, and growth products that we are learning or leaning into accelerate our transformation and provide customers with leading edge software to drive their streaming services. I'm very excited about our upside to play a leading role in enabling our customers to capture their new demand. So this gives you a bit of a quick update on their operational uh, quarter three results for earnings. Now, back on November 29th, they mentioned about securing that multi-million dollar contract we just mentioned. This contract renewal adds high margin recurring revenue over the next two years, and they validate seed changes strategy of coupling services of existing customers relationship with high impact revenue potential in ad tech and streaming markets. Now, they also provided a presentation, which I do assume will be updated in this quarter. So they have stream vid by seed change. Their market opportunity drivers, including global video streaming and digital advertising, seems to be growing year per year and is forecasted to continuously grow. They have more than 100 million connected subscribers and ads served monthly. They have around 35,000 linear channels managed, including big customers such as AT&T, Claro, IZ, Vodafone, Digo, and a bunch more. Now, in terms of product portfolio, they have cable delivery, stream videos, and advanced advertising. Uh, investments highlight, so they penetrated a massive $155.6 billion streaming market and a $455 billion in ad tech markets. So they have all these different things. Uh, another part, this was actually from quarter two, 2022. I'm kind of skipping through it because I do believe they will cover a lot of this again today in their video. Now, in terms of fundamentals, their valuations with price over sales is 3.89, even with a massive push, and the price over book is 1.83. So currently, this is still considered undervalued when compared to the market averages. Uh, so even with this massive push, 
considered under value from valuation perspective. For profitability, their gross margins is sitting at 57.91, although their EBI TDA margin is negative 58.28, and their net profits is around negative 61.45. Not the best look. Return on assets is negative 22%, and return on equity negative 31, and return on investment capital negative 28. So not the best look again, a lot of negativity coming from return on assets and management effectiveness and profitability, but their valuation is definitely undervalued. Now, before moving on forward, we got to take a quick look into institutional buyers. Institutions seem to be a bit mixed onto this one. So far, I'm able to see a lot of value change being negative rather than positive. That's as much as we get to see here. Now, in terms of taking a look into uh, technical analysis, we'll do that in a second. But if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave notifications on for this one. Also, don't forget to drop a like and let's move on towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis perspective, what we're getting to see here is a bunch of different indicators, of course, that are going to be very bullish because of this massive jump of price, almost 100%. Now you're looking from 0.66 down up to 190. That's almost even three times, 300%. Now from this perspective, of course, it's going to look very bullish on moving averages, but our current kind of key indicators is trying to see whether momentum will continue or not. Now from the average directional index, what we're able to see is that this one perhaps has another leg up for this one. Above 40, you got to start worrying. 45 is a dangerous sign. Above 50, sell. So there is still some room for this one. William percent R, which is very close to the RSI relative strength index, is showing this one has having more uh, demand currently than there is supply, but that supply is being met somehow or another. And it's currently decreasing a little from the day before. So it's cooling down. MACD shows a few more days at least off more bullish action. And momentum is decreasing from around 0.92 to 0.73. So it's definitely a drawback in momentum, and that's a dangerous thing. Now, in terms of stochastic fast and stochastic slow, now they're suggesting there might be another leg up for this one, but again, they're not really attentive to such movements. So I will disregard it a little. And in terms of moving averages and volumes, you're able to see volumes were not as historical as it was back in the 29th of March period, um, but it's still quite significant. Now, on balance volume, you're able to see this massively drop from the day before and even the days before, suggesting there was a lot of trade in hands that went on and there might be a lot of new bag holders. So it really suggested that a lot of people perhaps who bought around this area starting selling around this area. And so you got to be very careful because it is an indication that there might be more of a drop into this one. But volume increased today over the day before, even though it wasn't massive a push, it was a massive tug of war showcasing that at whichever direction it's going to snap, it's going to drop fast or jump really high. Now, in terms of Fibonacci retracements, here we're able to see significant support at 140, 123, 101 and 66 cents. Significant resistances are at 158, 183, and 215. Now, from a price line action point of view, we have a few supports and resistances we're interested in. So, first off, the first key support we're interested in would be very close to the 150 range, around 143. Below there, we're looking down to perhaps 139, then 133, going down to 131, 125. Down to 118, down to 112, down to 105, going down to $1, and 92, you're able to see massive drops, 86, 89 cents, 78, 74, going to 69, 66. Resistances. There's a few. Strongest one, 151 to 152, and 155. Then, jumping up to 164. 174, 179, 187, 191, and then starts jumping to the $2. Comes to the question, Ed, what do you think about this one? Well, honestly, every time this one jumps significantly, it does eventually drop back. Uh, you're able to see there is more of periodic jumps and drops. So volatility for this one is high. 
Do I think that this stock will kind of break records? It has potential to hit a new 52 week high and a new high ever. But the very important key part of this one to understand is there is currently a massive tug of war and more likely than not, it's going to drop then jump. So if you're playing a momentum, be very careful, very tight, short loss uh, kind of limits or short stop, stop limits, stop order limits, whatever you're using. But it is a very dangerous game. And if you have bought into 66 cents, maybe it's a bit time to capture some of those uh, profits that you've made. What do you think about this one? Make sure you down in the comments below. Try to subscribe and like and have a wonderful day. Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our Discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that gives picks for free. It's not pump and dumps. We just things we think about, swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here, and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day